Hi beautiful people, welcome back. Hope everybody is doing well. Everybody is staying cool, staying hydrated, drinking lots and lots of water. This heat is absolutely unbearable. I know you guys, you're getting a voiceover once again. I apologize about that. I am actually on a little bit of a vacation. I am so far behind with all KJ shenanigans, but I figured, you know what, I gotta get this done. Even if it's a voiceover, I'm sure you guys don't mind. Before we get into it, please do not take what I say as fact. Feel free to do your own research and come to your own conclusion. And for those KJ cult members, this video is definitely not for you. Moving forward. On June 7th, Todd and Julie Chrisley as by now i'm sure everybody knows have been found guilty of all their charges that they were accused of and as per usual and in pure kj fashion she went on a whole victory lap within just a few days i'm talking probably maybe two days she posted on her instagram alone she posted 28 times about the chrisleys when she found out about the guilty verdict this is what she said. I screamed for my husband. Then he ran up the stairs and picked me up. We were so happy. I was jumping up and down. I'm not happy that their kids will be impacted FTR. I'm happy this nightmare is almost over for me. And then she went ahead and she made a video about this. This kind of solidifies that without a crystal ball has not been lying about this case. And if you recall, Todd and Julie Chrisley, well actually no, just Todd Chrisley sued without a crystal ball related to our reporting related to this case. And I can have no comment in regards to how this changes our suit, but let's just say that I, along with my legal team, are happy and feel vindicated with today's conviction. And we hope to put an end to that lawsuit in the future, given today's verdict. She also then put out a statement which says, Today's guilty verdict of Todd and Julie Chrisley is confirmation that WOACB has not and did not defame them. We reported on their case and the allegations surrounding the indictment. The criminal trial provided us key evidence that we will use in our civil case to end the lawsuit. The harassment I've experienced as a result of doing my job and reporting on court records is mind-boggling to me. The fact that so many refused to look at the evidence but rode the hate train further proves to me that people will ignore the truth as long as they think I'm guilty. The lawsuit Todd and Julie Christie filed against WOSCB took a huge hit today. The guilty verdict proves that we did not lie. WOACB reported on the indictment and allegations that were made publicly by the family on Dr. Phil and in interviews. Evidence in trial revealed emails sent to the FBI by the family member proving everything we reported. Family members changing their story two years later does not negate what was said for over two years in the public sphere. We have been slandered, defamed and harassed for our coverage. With the transcripts from trial and evidence submitted to the court, we will work to end this lawsuit once and for all. Somebody needs a refresher on their own lawsuit. And I'm talking about Katie Joy. Maybe she should go back and actually read what she is being sued for by the Chrisleys. I'm just saying. Goes on to call him out about being broke. Seriously, people? Don't make me post that email begging for no further litigation because you're out of cash and don't want no more litigation. Yep, I got a trick. LMAO, I see you peeking. So she responds and says, Todd said, so she says, Todd said he had an email from me begging for no more litigation and that I'm out of cash. I can assure Todd that I do not need to ask a probation officer to spend more than a thousand dollars. I am also confident it's not my property, bank accounts and real property that's about to be seized by the feds. Imagine this man calling me poor when he is about to be millions in the hole. This is unbelievable. This is petty as fuck. This is childish. And then she posts, just spoke to someone familiar with Todd Christie's criminal case. The source says the IRS will be seizing all of their property with the conviction. Todd and Julie Christie will not have much left after this happens, meaning Todd won't have money for all his civil lawsuits. This woman is a fucking idiot. 
Do you not have other things to do? Do you not have priorities? So how is this not rejoicing? Feeling happy, rejoicing on the demise of somebody's downfall. Then she posts, for anyone accusing me of gloating, I find no happiness in any crimes being committed. I have a right to be relieved that a person that has harassed, defamed and lied about me was convicted of crimes, period. You will be rubbing it in my face if he was acquitted, period. But you sure are rejoicing. You went, as I said, and was putting up posts through the yin yang in regard to what this man has done to you, accusing him of things he has not done to you, and also gaslighting your audience. Maybe you should tell your audience to do their due diligence. Then she goes ahead and she says how she's been looking over all his podcast um, episodes and that he has been slandering her and accusing her of crimes and all that BS. It's like, hey, hey, you were listening all along. You were there with all of us listening to what he had to say next. Didn't you also send him a cease and desist? And clearly that didn't work. So let's be honest all the way. And it's amazing how Katie Joy blatantly lies. Why can't everybody do their own due diligence? Why can't everybody just do the right thing? Katie Joy is definitely not a credible source or she's not honest or she can't spoil the facts. She got to twist everybody's words to suit her storyline. Toddy did not speak ill about her son. They questioned certain things, absolutely. Also, Julie Christie did not speak about her son. She just gave her opinion of what she would do in regard to having a sickly child. But no, no, no. Katie Joy had to twist what Julie said to suit her storyline for people to feel bad for her. So stop letting Katie Joy gaslight you people and all her cult members that are here listening. Do your own due diligence. Don't just believe everything she says. So that part where Katie Joy was throwing it in his face that he can't afford to spend more than a thousand dollars. So what do we have here? Seems as though somebody has their priorities in order. And clearly, he can still afford to pay his attorneys because last week they filed a motion to dismiss her counterclaims. And clearly, as you can see, we have a hearing set, a remote hearing set, and will be held in regard to this dismissal of her counterclaims. So maybe, Katie Joy, this is not the end for you. I'm not saying that he's going to win. I'm not saying that you're going to win. It's only for the courts to decide. That's what we have a justice system for, Katie Joy. So let the chips fall where they may. Let's just see what goes on. Don't just grab onto victory. Let's just see what happens here. It's a whole process. You don't know everything. So let's keep it moving. Todd and Julie Chrisley actually came back to their Christy Confessions podcast, and this is what they're just Morning, everyone. It's time. And Julie. With Christy Confessions. It has been a whirlwind. Yes, it has. A lot of moving parts, a lot of things going on in our lives, and a lot of seeing God's movements right now. So I know all of you guys are wanting to know every detail that is going on in our lives, and I have to ask that you respect that we're not allowed to talk about it at the present time. There will come a time to where all of it is discussed. And, you know, I think that we'll let everyone decide what, you know, what their opinions are. But as of now, we cannot discuss anything other than answer questions. We can talk about what's going on in our life outside of what's going on in our life. Um, You know, but we did want to come on today and let everyone know that, you know, it's a very sad Um, heartbreaking time for our family right now, but we still hold steadfast in our faith and we trust that God will do what he does best because God's a miracle worker and that's what we're holding out for. So, um, you know, do you have anything to say? No, just that 
you know, we're alive and kicking and uh, we appreciate all of the support that we have received um, from everyone. Um, I mean, folks, listen, we are we are receiving tens of thousands of messages every day. I mean, from mail to gifts being delivered to our home to people delivering food, um, you know, people driving from all over the country, you know, to bring flowers to our front door. Um, it's the love that is spread so far throughout this country for our family is, is what's truly helping us to get up each day. Yes. Um, you know, it's, it's a tough time right now, but we are grateful for each and every one of you that have taken the effort. You know, we don't require that you drive eight hours to place flowers at our door. We don't require that you drive eight hours to bring food or, you know, a letter is fine. You know, a prayer, a prayer, you know, Just say a prayer. For a us. prayer is the greatest gift that you can give anyone. And so, you know, that's we're grateful for that. And we're grateful for those of you that are driving all of these distances to do these things. But I don't want you placing your family in harm or taking time off of your jobs or doing those kind of things you know, just to do this for us, you know, we are grateful and appreciative of it. And to know that there's so many people that this is affecting and that's, that's hurting them just as we're hurting, you know, it's, it truly is something I believe that God is allowing to happen, you know, to give us that support. And for that, we're grateful. Um, You know, the kids are all doing as best that they can, a um, lot of tears, a lot of heartache, a lot of sorrow, a lot of uh, trying to understand how how this is where we are right now. Um, but we are here and, you know, we've got to walk the walk and do whatever it is that we have to do. So, you know, I think that that's pretty much all that I can say about that. Yep. So, you know, with that being said, it's nothing but love from us as always to each and every one of you that tune in each week. And we're going to continue to do Chrisley Confessions for as long as we get to do it. And then Chase and Savannah will take it over. And at that point, they will be the ones that can kind of fill you in on everything that's going on in our lives at that point. So as you guys heard from Todd and Julie Chrisley, they are still doing their podcast. They sound so defeated with all good reasoning. You know, they've got a lot on their plate. They've got a lot to go through. They did the crime, they got to pay the time. There's no justifying that or working around that. It is what it is. But I'm gonna get back to them. This is what Katie Joy, this is how far she takes things, okay? She posted on her Instagrams, the Chrisley's podcast will be terminated. And then she puts the whole clause of termination due to contract stipulation about convictions for fraud. When Todd and Julie Christie renewed their contract for their podcast, their podcast network added a stipulation for termination. If either of them were convicted of fraud, the podcast contract would be terminated 10 days after their notice of the conviction. This means Podcast One will likely terminate Christie Confessions due to the conviction. The Christie submitted a copy of their contract in separate civil lawsuit in Georgia. Well, Katie Joy, here's your answer. There is no termination of Chrisley confessions. As you heard Todd saying that once everything happens, when they find out their fate, Savannah and Chase will take over the podcast and keep people updated. So maybe you should just learn to mind your business. Maybe you should just focus on what's important. You for two years insisted and I've got a whole video and I'll list it down below where you stated that fact that Todd Chrisley was extorting his daughter, that Todd Chrisley was the one that leaked the information to TMZ, that Todd Chrisley is gay, and things go on and on and on. You stuck with that for two years, Katie Joy. You did not, when the truth came out about this whole sex tape, about how it came about, you did not correct your story. You kept everything as is. So let's be clear about that. It all started, obviously, when her father and mother were indicted, or her, yeah, her parents were indicted on 12 counts of tax evasion and 
bank fraud, wire fraud, lying to the federal government. And shortly, actually within days of their indictment, suddenly a police report is mysteriously turns up from TMZ. How would they know that she even filed a police report? It's almost like someone from the Chrisley camp, either a PR representative or Todd Chrisley, made contact with the outlet and shopped it and told them about the police report because in the police report, her dad is listed, she's listed, and Chase is listed. The police would have had to make contact with only the people involved in the police report so therefore, only the people in the police report would know that the police report existed and Lindsay didn't leak the story to TMZ. Somebody from the Chrisley camp obviously tipped TMZ off, i.e. Chase or Todd. Isn't it ironic that as soon as they leak this story, they also have a statement from Todd Chrisley immediately disclosing that his daughter had extramarital affairs with Robbie Hayes and Josh Murray. Isn't that sick? The lengths this father went to, it's unconscionable. He's in the middle of an indictment and his first inkling is not, how am I gonna get out of this? How am I gonna defend myself? It's, I gotta smear my daughter. I gotta take the attention off of me and I'm gonna go for my daughter's jug jugular and I'm gonna make everyone know that she had an affair and there's a tape about her. Everyone was giving, a lot of people were giving Lindsay crap, saying that she brought this into the media. She didn't bring this into the media. Todd or Chase brought it to TMZ. But having to go and relive stuff that happened years ago with your spouse, and then imagine having a little boy that's in the middle of this too, that has a mom's dirty laundry now is all over the news and she has to protect him from hearing things about her that her father threw to the media. And this is the same man that claims to be a good Christian and espouses all these, you know, amazing, you know, heartfelt, like, oh, you guys, I'm so inspirational crap on Instagram and on Twitter. And this is what he's doing to his daughter. It's gross. This was my deductive reasoning. But it's interesting that she would put that in there because I think enough people would put it together. But because I love you guys, I'm putting the puzzle pieces together for you. There are a lot of people that think they know her and are making a lot of accusations about her. And they're calling all, her all kinds of names now because of the information that her father put out to the media about her. And she's said those are the comments that are the hardest to take. And that for the last couple weeks, she feels like her life has been completely wrecked and totally ruined. And it's trying to sort through the mess and realize that it was her family that did this to her, not the other way around. But she wasn't the one that put this out there. So why would you be mad at the person? Why would you call her fame hungry when she was the one that was trying to keep this quiet? and do what she was supposed to do behind the clo behind closed doors. She didn't want it public, but her dad did. Todd Chrisley has literally spent most of the last few weeks blaming everyone but himself. He has blamed his ex-wife. He has blamed Lindsay. He has blamed a former employee. He has blamed former accountants. He has denied any culpability. He says that he is innocent, that nothing happened. And in the midst of all of that, he also is pretending that he's the best father because he saved his son Kyle from a suicide attempt. And by doing so, he brought him back to life because he spoke to him when he was having a hard time breathing. And used a podcast last week to talk about what a great father he was and how there's no possible way he could be a bad father because he loves his kids so much and he loved Kyle so much that he had a private investigator stalk him for years. That's not creepy. I've known a lot of this and I never said any of it. He and I have talked quite a bit about a lot of what's been going on in her life and 
and I've never disclosed it. As I told you guys, in a matter of two, two to three days, she posted over 28 times about the Chrisleys. She went and she compared them to Joe and Teresa Judice. And then she went on, was teasing them about not being able to spend over a thousand dollars, which I showed you that. Then she goes ahead and says, Todd Christian is involved in numerous civil lawsuits right now. Due to the convictions, the IRS will be seizing property and assets due to the forfeiture allegations. Todd has already said he plans to appeal. He has spending limits set by the court due to the pending seizure. Katie Joy, once again, shouldn't you be focusing on your own shit? You are not gloating, you are fucking rejoicing right now. Making all of these posts, trying to justify yourself, trying to validate yourself, trying to get vindication for yourself. That's not how it works, Katie Joy. But this just topped it for me. If you're saying you're not gloating, this is what she posts. Ty Chrisley Ankle Monitor. Best way to start the morning with a photo of Ty Chrisley with an ankle monitor at his house. Let me play this clip for you. By saying that he's sad and he's going to appeal, and then the whole family is falling on God and acting like they care about God now. Where were they caring about God when they were calling me ugly, calling my husband names, saying that I was a psycho narcissist, that they were fucking coming for me? Where was their godliness when those comments or that? Um, I'm the kind, I'm so ugly that I'm telling God how to love people or I don't even know, telling how people not to be. You know, using God to fall back on when you have a hard time doesn't erase the fact that you don't get to act like an ass and then be like, well, I'm sorry, I believe in God. That's not what Christians are supposed to do. You're called to be like good people all the time. And Todd and Chris, Julie Chrisley's story really resonated with me because of the fake Christianity that I feel exudes off of them. Do we even know if they go to church? I mean, does someone that speaks like Todd, acts like Todd, bullies like Todd, is that a Christian? No. It's someone that's playing the part of a Christian that happens so frequently on reality television. He's not. That was why I taught, covered the case, because he to me, exuded everything about being fake Christian. And all of these fake responses of, I need to pray to God, and I'm praying for this, and I'm praying for that. You know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about all the people who can't get car loans or house loans now because of all the fraud that's perpetuated in the banking industry that makes it harder for people to actually get loans. You think about nobody else but yourself. That's been proven over and over and over again. So cut the bullshit with saying how you thinking of the bank and thinking about the people. Bullshit, once again. All the rejoicing that you are doing, maybe you should pull back on those reins because karma is a bitch. And I know you are a shitty person. And the amount of shit you have done to people, it's unconscionable. That is what you call unconscionable. Whenever you cannot get your own way, you will bring up somebody else's dirt. That's what you call deflection. You cannot hold yourself accountable. You are such a liar. Unimaginable, absolutely unimaginable. You cannot even say, I'm sorry. Now you see, when it comes to this family, am I biased? Absolutely. They brought so much joy to a lot of people because of your humor, the smiles they put on your face. But unfortunately, you don't have a soul to realize that. This is a bad time for everybody. You had to insert at some point about the little kids. You gave a fuck or give a fuck about those kids. Grayson, that's a teenager now, he needs all his parents. Unfortunately, they fucked up. Now they have to deal with it. Chloe. The poor baby girl that has been from one home to another home. Now she's in a loving home. She is stable. You don't give a fuck about Chloe. So don't even try act like you do. You don't give a shit about any child. Because one thing I cannot get out of my head, Katie Joy, when 
this was brought to my attention a few days ago. When somebody had lost their child, your exact response was, that's too bad. Which person, especially a mother, would say something like that? My bad, you would, which you did, that is fucked up. So if you wanna come across as being compassionate towards the kids, fuck no. Compassionate hit you in the face, you wouldn't even know what it meant. Moving forward, you guys, as I said, they fucked up. They gotta handle the consequences of what they've done. And as for Nanny Faye, bless her heart, you know, you guys, they say when it rains, it pours. And this family is going through it right now. Nanny Faye is dealing with cancer. She's in treatment every day. This is another boulder added to their shoulders. Keep them in prayer at this time. And in reference to Katie Joy, about her feelings about Christians, this proves how she hates Christians. And let me be clear, this is from, this is my opinion, this is my perspective of things. No human being is perfect, not even a Christian. I'm Christian, I swear like a sailor, but I'm no perfect human being. Neither is Todd nor Julie, okay? So for her to sit there with a fucking smile on her face, and talk so ill about Christians and how they should act as Christians. She's delusional, absolutely delusional. And Katie Joy, you don't have to go to church to have a relationship with God. You see, when you were going through your walk as what I've learned, you did the exact same thing. You faked Christianity to get shit out of people. You faked wanting to be a Christian so you can get things out of it. So don't come and act like you're the superior person. You know it all. You're perfect. You're far from perfect. You are known liar. And to my knowledge, this Christian family was always godly. If they exude fake Christianity, what do you exude? I'll tell you how shitty a human being can be. You the epitome of a shitty, dishonest human being. You lied about them. You took Todd and Julie's words and you twisted them. And if you had heard correctly and closely when Todd said everything he is saying was brought to him, he was just referencing what people were telling him about you guys. And when it comes to calling your husband a racist, a lot of people have that theory. Katie Joy, not only Todd Chrisley, and you seem to have this thing that whenever somebody is coming up against you, example, Todd Chrisley. Todd Chrisley now allegedly was working with Nat. Todd Chrisley was getting all these people to arrest you. Todd Chrisley was the one to have you swatted. How many other suspects are you going to have, Katie Joy? Who's after this? Who's the next person in line, Katie Joy? Who? Just accept yourself for who you are. Own it. Own it. This is exactly why so many people are coming up against you, Katie Joy. You can't learn to humble yourself. You can't accept the fuck-ups that you do. You always want to come across as this perfect person, this likable person. That's not how life works, sweetie pie. Absolutely not. You're absolutely a miserable person. You can't fight the good fight. It's not in you to fight the good fight. But at some point, I hope that you do learn. For all the pain that you have caused so many people, Always comes back, Katie Joy. Always. The Chrisleys will do whatever they need to do, as he said. And you know what? People always get a second chance. Always. They have to right their wrongs. But unlike you, Katie Joy, the higher you climb, the harder you fall. It's just the way it is. 
maybe you should work on yourself maybe instead of digging into other people's shit dig into yourself find out why you are the way you are stop using your son as a shield he deserves much much better by you just sitting in your little cocoon there and digging up people's fault allow him to explore help him explore let him grow some social skills do things with him be a mother katie joy that's all because at the end of the day money will never buy happiness and it can only get you so far thank you guys so much for joining me i've no, I've kept you guys a long, long time. I apologize. But one more thing before I go. Lindsay Chrisley put out a tweet where she states that she will be addressing without a crystal ball on a podcast, Coffee and Convos. I think it is on Thursday. I'm not too sure about that. This is going to be so, so interesting because Katie Joy seems to be throwing her under the bus. Thank you guys so much. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Please stay hydrated and stay cool. Please be safe out there. Be kind to one another and don't forget, make good memories. Bye guys.